Well, this is Carl Dannerberger, and uh, I thought as a compliment to the uh, module on temperature, I would show you from experience some of the things you're learning. Uh, one of it has to do with the actual canopy temperatures under different environmental conditions uh, that you come in and make sure you don't think I'm just making this stuff up and uh, you're learning about it, that actually there's some data behind it. And so what I have here, just like in the module, I have uh, uh, infrared thermometer gun, mini temperature gun, costs about $100, $105, and they use it in a lot of industrial processes, steel mills maybe, to check the temperature of uh, molten steel, uh, air conditioning units, you can shoot it into the vents to see if it's cold air coming or how cold it is, but it also will record the temperature of turf. And under the conditions uh, that we talked about, sunny skies, or a high radiant energy, uh, no air movement, um, but adequate soil moisture. Normally the canopy temperature is about 15 degrees warmer in, in Fahrenheit than uh, uh, the air temperature. And, but today we have sunny skies, radiant energy. Uh, the, uh, we do have a breeze. The air temperature is somewhere between 82 and 84 degrees Fahrenheit. So when I shoot this temperature, this turf, I should be able to uh, be close to that. And if I do that, take a few measurements, and here you can see it's pretty close, all right, within, uh, within a few degrees. As a side light, I've been holding this thing behind me, all right, and this is, to give you an idea of how technology goes, this is, an, is the same thing as this except this is about 20, 25 years ago and actually this is the first infrared thermometer gun I bought to do research with uh, back in the 1980s. It kind of looks like a ray gun from a Flash Gordon movie. If you don't know who Flash Gordon is, uh, Google him. Okay? But uh, anyway, this thing at the time cost $3,800. So we've gone a long ways. So now we're going to go over to the artificial turf area and uh, I want to show you the difference in temperature from a surface that does not transpire or carry on transpiration what the canopy temperature will be there. I'm standing here on an artificial surface, uh, commonly used on most of the uh, athletic fields uh, uh, here in the United States. Uh, a couple differences obviously be, uh, besides turf is that one is not living second one related to that it's not transpiring or it does not cool itself so it's directly exposed to radiant energy and heat buildup and so I wanted to show you the temperature of this turf under the same conditions uh, that we saw under the living turf and you'll see the difference in temperature and the impact transpiration has on the on cooling of turf grass plants. 